On a quiet afternoon as the preliminary report on UPS Flight 2976 dropped just last week on November 19, 2025, the internet erupted with chatter. Comment sections across platforms buzzed with comparisons to a hauntingly similar disaster from decades ago. American Airlines Flight 91, a McDonnell Douglas DC-10 that crashed in 1979 after losing its left engine shortly after takeoff from Chicago's O'Hare International Airport. The parallels between these two incidents, separated by over 45 years, are striking, and it's time to dive deep into what connects them. With the full National Transportation Safety Board NTSB, final report on American Airlines Flight 191 from 1979 pulled up on the screen, alongside the freshly released preliminary findings on UPS 2976, the similarities are hard to ignore. Page 11 of the 12-page preliminary report on UPS 2976 explicitly references the 1979 crash, noting that on May 25, 1979, at around 3.04 p.m. Central Daylight Time, American Airlines Flight 191 plummeted into an open field just shy of a trailer park, roughly 4,600 feet northwest of runway 32R's departure end at O'Hare. The weather that day was clear, visibility at 15 miles, yet tragedy struck as the DC-10, during its takeoff rotation, lost its left engine and pylon assembly along with a three-foot section of the left wing's leading edge. The aircraft climbed to about 325 feet above ground level before rolling uncontrollably to the left, its wings tipping past vertical as the nose dipped below the horizon. The NTSB's ongoing probe into UPS 2976, as noted in the recent report, mirrors the concluded investigation of Flight 191, revealing eerie overlaps that demand a closer look. If you're as gripped by this comparison as we are, drop a 1 in the comments below to let us know this video hit the mark. Digging into the 1979 crash, the NTSB report paints a grim picture of American Airlines Flight 191. The aircraft, moments after lifting off, shed critical components on the runway, something the pilots likely sensed but couldn't act on. By the time the issue became apparent, they'd passed V1, the critical go-no-go -go speed where a boarding takeoff isn't an option. Stopping at that point would have meant overshooting the runway's end, so they had no choice but to continue. The DC-10, burdened by a pre-existing stress fracture in its left engine pylon, reached 325 feet before disaster unfolded, far higher than UPS 2976, which, per the recent report, only climbed to about 100 feet, with its gear a mere 30 feet off the ground. Unlike Flight 191, UPS 2976 didn't get the chance to gain much altitude before losing control. Back in 1979, the departing left engine on the DC-10 triggered the retraction of the left wing's slats, those crucial leading-edge flaps that boost lift during takeoff and landing by allowing slower speeds. Takeoff, as any aviation buff knows, is the most vulnerable phase of flight. The aircraft is at its heaviest, loaded with fuel, geared down, flaps extended, and moving at its slowest. All power is maxed out with no reserve to spare. As Flight 191 rotated and climbed, the crew raised the gear, but something was terribly wrong. The loss of the engine assembly mirrored, almost identically, the mechanical failure seen in UPS 2976's MD-11, though not entirely. Fast forward to 2025 and the preliminary findings on UPS 2976 echo the past with chilling precision, pointing to a failure in the left pylon assembly that separated either at or just after liftoff, leaving the crew with no option but to press on. Delving into the final report on American Airlines Flight 191, the conclusions are stark. The engine and pylon assembly detached right at or immediately after takeoff, past the point of no return. The aft end of the pylon began separating at the forward flange of the aft bulkhead, a critical attachment point linking the pylon to the wing. While the forward attachment eventually failed due to overstress, it was the aft assembly that gave way first, 
weakened by a pre-existing crack or stress fracture. That engine, positioned slightly ahead of the wing's leading edge, was generating immense thrust, essentially pulling the aircraft skyward. As Flight 191 ascended on that fateful day in May 1979, the aft pylon's mounting point snapped under the strain, causing the engine to rotate upward, overstressing the forward attachment until it too broke free. The entire assembly tore over the wing and fell away. The 1979 report details that the pylon structural failure stemmed from a complete collapse of the forward flange of the aft bulkhead, its strength already compromised by a fracture that had worsened over time. This wasn't a sudden snap, but a disaster waiting to happen. A 13-inch long overload fracture compounded by fatigue cracking in the upper flange of the aft bulkhead. Notably, the hardware at the attachment points was correctly installed, ruling out maintenance error. Yet, the cascading failures were catastrophic. Electrical power to the number one generator and bus severed as the engine ripped away, all because of that pre-existing 13-inch fracture in the aft mount. Under the relentless cycles of takeoffs and landings, it was only a matter of time before it gave way. Now, shifting to UPS Flight 2976 in 2025, the preliminary report released on November 19th paints an uncannily similar picture. After examining the fracture surfaces of the left pylon's aft mount lugs, investigators found evidence of fatigue cracks alongside areas of overstress failure, terms that could have been lifted straight from the 1979 report. An overstress failure means a component was torn apart under excessive load, much like the forward mount on both aircraft, which failed only after the aft mount let go. But it's the fatigue cracks in the aft mounting point that initiated the collapse in both cases. For UPS 2976, the report notes fatigue cracking in both inboard and outboard fracture surfaces of the aft lug, though it doesn't specify the crack size as the 1979 report did with its 13-inch finding. The wording, however, is nearly identical, describing fatigue at the junction of the aft lug bore and its forward face. On the forward lug of UPS 2976, the inboard fracture showed pure overstress with no fatigue, mirroring Flight 191's pattern where the forward mount succumbed to excessive strain after the aft failure. The 1979 conclusions found no inherent flaw in the mounting point design, though hindsight raises questions. After that crash, minor changes were made, corrosion treatments and stricter maintenance protocols. Airlines were barred from removing the engine and pylon as a single unit using forklifts, a practice that caused unintended torque and damage during reinstallation. McDonnell Douglas's manuals became gospel, enforced by the Federal Aviation Administration to ensure compliance. These fixes held for decades across DC-10 and MD-11 fleets until the recent UPS crash in Louisville on October 25, 2025. The UPS 2976 aircraft and MD-11 had logged 21,043 cycles and 92,000 hours on its airframe, per the report. Visual inspections mandated by airworthiness directives and overseen by the FAA were up to date. The UPS maintenance program required checks of the pylon mounting points every 72 months, six years, or 29,200 cycles, whichever came first. This aircraft at 21,000 cycles had 8,000 more before the next mandated inspection. The last visual check of the aft and forward mounts occurred on October 28, 2021, and a lubrication task for the pylon links and bearings was completed just weeks before the crash on October 18, 2025. Everything appeared compliant, yet disaster struck. In response, the entire DC-10 and MD-11 fleets have been grounded as of November 20, 2025, signaling a recognition of systemic issues with these pylons. Calls for design changes are growing louder, something perhaps overlooked in 1979 despite the maintenance overhauls. The tragedy of UPS 2976 claimed 14 lives, three crew members and 11 on the ground, a heartbreaking echo of past losses. It's likely that operators like UPS and FedEx will retire these aging cargo fleets moving to modern aircraft as public confidence in patchwork fixes wanes. Passenger versions of these planes are long gone, so there's no direct risk to travelers, but the cost in lives remains a stark reminder of unresolved flaws. Reflecting on both incidents, the comparison between American Airlines Flight 191 from May 25, 1979 
and UPS Flight 2976 from October 25, 2025 is almost uncanny. The NTSB's findings, spanning over four decades, highlight nearly identical mechanical failures, maintenance challenges, and tragic outcomes. We've laid out the facts, from the 1979 conclusions to last week's report on UPS 2976. Now you've got the full picture. Fly safe, folks, and if this video struck a chord, drop a one in the comments to show some love. Let's keep this conversation going.